Ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome to Test Squadron. Today we will be discussing how to dress like the best. As many of you may or may not be aware, Test Squadron dress code is very simple. Yellow and black. There has been some debate as to whether beige and black would suffice. I am here to end that debate and simply tell all of you that you are wrong. As you can see in this example, the man in the center is dressed like the best. The individuals around him are all dressed like idiots. Their armor is clearly not yellow. Now, moving on. For those of you who are unaware, Test Squadron armor can be purchased from several locations. First and foremost is Port Olisar, where you can purchase three separate sets of Test Squadron armor. Should you choose a more unique look, you can fly to Grim Hex and purchase a set of Test Squadron armor from there as well. Lawville and Area 18 also offer several yellow and black options. They do not offer complete sets of yellow and black armor, nor are they unique to any of the options available at Port Olosar or Grim Hex, so we will not be covering them in this video. Levski has also failed to stock yellow and black armor for our fleet. Should you choose to purchase your armor on Port Olosar, you may do so at Garrity Defense. Garrity Defense is located at one of the four retail locations on each strut. To enter Garrity Defense, one must simply walk to the door. The door will magically open. You will notice a kiosk. Hold the F key and click Use. You will be presented with a multitude of options, many of which do not adhere to Test Squadron dress code. Do not be distracted by these options. If you take the time to look, you will find plenty of undersuits and armor that adhere to Test Squadron dress code. The gentleman here is modeling the MacFlex light armor suit paired with the Horizon helmet. This entire armor suit can be purchased right here on Port Olisar. This is the PAB-1 medium armor suit paired with the CBH-3 helmet. This can also be purchased right here on Port Olisar. Another armor suit available on Port Olisar is the ADP heavy armor suit paired with the Baylor HCH helmet. Finally, should you choose a more unique option, you may travel to Grim Hex and purchase the Inquisitor armor suit located at Scutters on the main level of the base near the habitation modules. This is the Inquisitor medium armor suit paired with the Morningstar helmet. For those who dislike the Morningstar helmet, we suggest an alternative, the G2 helmet. As you can see, this helmet complements the suit far better than the Morningstar helmet does. Now that you have seen all of the options available to you which adhere to Test Squadron dress code, you are expected to adhere to Test Squadron dress code. Should you not adhere to Test Squadron dress code, there will be severe consequences. Should you choose not to take these consequences seriously, this man will send an elite force to your ship to have you and your accomplices terminated. Please allow me to demonstrate. Loic, what the, what the fuck? Are we breaking up? As you can see, these men died because they chose not to dress like the best. We hope that you enjoyed watching this tutorial as much as we enjoyed showing you the obvious. If you are a member of Test Squadron and you have not subscribed to this channel, then shame on you. Subscribe now.
If you like this video, give it a thumbs up now. Thank you.